President Abraham Lincoln thought slavery was wrong. He fought a war to hold the country together and to make it free for everyone. Abraham Lincoln Written by Marion Dane Bauer Illustrated by Liz Goulet-Dubois Abraham Lincoln never expected to become President of the United States. He was born in the wilderness in a log cabin. His family was uneducated and poor, but they all worked hard. He was a tall spider of a boy. When he was only eight years old, he helped his father clear the land with an axe. Lincoln once said he got his education by littles. That meant he and his sister Sarah went to school only when they weren't needed to work at home. He read and read to teach himself all he wanted to know. He even taught himself to be a lawyer. Lincoln once traveled from Illinois to Kentucky, where he saw slaves chained together. He knew slavery was wrong. Many in the North wanted to change the country's laws so that no one could own slaves. Many in the South wanted to divide the United States, half slave, half free. Lincoln ran for president because he wanted the country to stay whole and for slaves to be free. A lot of people were surprised when Lincoln won. How could a man born in a log cabin be president? The southern states were unhappy. They decided to form their own country where they could own slaves. They attack the North. Lincoln declared war on the states that had left the Union. He said the country must remain whole. The Civil War lasted four long, hard years. Everyone suffered. But Abraham Lincoln believed in the United States of America. In a famous speech at Gettysburg, he promised that this nation would remain free. And it did. As soon as the North began to win, our 16th president signed a law that freed every slave. Lincoln signs the Emancipation Proclamation, 1863. If ever my name goes into history, he said, it will be for this act.